double Scandinavian champion Antti Bury is the man who lines up on pole position and with him at the front of the grid is Luke Williams. We are five seconds away from round one getting underway. The drivers look towards the lights, which any second now will go red. They do. Engine notes rise, and the race gets underway now as the cars accelerate down towards Old Hall Corner for the first time. Somebody wreathed in tar smoke as they leave the line, but the best start of all is Luke Williams, who goes around the outside of Anti Bury, heading down towards Old Hall Corner for the first time. The EcoBoost cars much quicker than the older Duratec machinery, so they're going to be up front, that's for sure. Anti Bury it is who leads the way. Williams second, up to third is Cook, fourth is Liechtenstein. Kevin Corcoran runs in fifth place at the moment. Down to Hislop's big lockup from Ahmed, who hits the back of Matt Rao, breaks the suspension, and up the escape road at Hislop he goes. A very frustrated Matt Rao gesticulates, saying that was nothing to do with me, but we doing driving all over the back of me. And Abdul Ahmed drives for Don Hardman's team, and he's out of the race on lap one. Out of Lodge Corner. There's Eric Lichtenstein, the Argentine driver, on the back now of Jake Cook. And a drive through penalty for Luke Williams, the man in second place. He made that good start, and the race officials say it was too good. So a drive through penalty for him. The great shot of the two Jamin Rum, Eco Boost, Miguel Chassis heading towards Old Hall Corner. You can see the different shape of them. This slightly wider version of a Formula Ford car compared to the Juratec. The 1600cc turbo engine, and Lichtenstein uses all of that power to go through on the inside. He takes third away from Jake Cook, and that's going to be second very shortly when Williams serves his drive through. Thinks about the inside, thinks better of it. Out of the right hander, George Blundell, new to car racing, doing a good job here. Matt Rowe with a bit more single seater experience after his Formula Ford races of last year, and that's his teammate Alex Drabble, who is off the road, and one of his wheels in the middle of the track. Look on the way down towards Lodge Corner coming out of Druids, loses the back of the car, it goes through a complete spin and it keeps on going. Bang into the arm coat, still nose to tail. This for second in the Juratec class. Fabian Welther is the man that's leading the Juratec fight at the moment. And there's contact between them, off goes Rao, Blundell spins. And that's a lot of damage on Matt Rao's car. George Blundell off the road as well. They interlock wheels coming out of Shadow Oil's corner. And so Ken Thirlwall picks up second place. And Matt Rao has done a lot of damage to the Van Diemen. The EcoBoost era is going to be first time out. A win for Antti Bury for JTR as the Miguel comes across the line. Antti Bury victorious at Alton Park. He looks a dominant winner in the end because after Luke Williams had to serve his drive through penalty, Eric Lichtenstein is four seconds back in second place. Jake Cook third. Luke Williams recovers for fourth ahead of Julio Moreno. And it's Fabian Welter, the man who wins the Juratec class. Round two of the Dunlop MSA Formula 4 Championship. Great Britain. It's Easter Monday, wet tyres, a wet road, slippery conditions, and the man at the front is going to have the best of the visibility. That's Antti Bury on pole position. Luke Williams, unless he makes a good start, is going to be sitting in his spray. It's an 18-minute race in very heavy rain, and it is about to get underway. Lights go red. Round two of the championship is go now. They slither off the line, and Antti Bury, who, as the Scandinavian champion, should be used to slippery conditions, makes the best start. A bad getaway, though, by Luke Williams. And up into second place goes Eric Lick. Eric Lichtenstein, the Argentine driver, second. Fred Martin Dye on the inside tries to take third as they tiptoe their way round Old Hall Corner for the first time. You can see what I mean about the spray, but it's Eric Lichtenstein alongside Antti Bury. He's going for the lead in the red car. He's on the outside line, but he runs out of road at Cascades, and off he goes. Over the grass, through the gravel, over more grass. His teammate in the background, Luke Williams, spins in avoidance. Now there is Antti Bury, no longer the race leader. He's gone wide at Druids, and that means that past him has gone Jake Cook. And there you can see in third place, Fred Martin Dye going after the man that won round one. Off the road has gone Abdul Ahmed. That's coming out of Druids. And the safety car is being deployed. Abdul Ahmed is OK, but in these very wet conditions, lots of drivers having problems. You can see in the background, somebody had been off at Druid, and then Abdul Ahmed has his own drama. The restart is about to get underway. Can the Finn fight back against the young British driver? You're on board with Antti Murray now, coming out of Lodge Corner. Green flag greets them this time. They race again as they come over the line. Lichtenstein now off the circuit, and not for the first time in the race. He went off on the first lap at Cascades. Now he's off at Shell Oil's corner as well. He's in the tyre barrier. He's out of the car. He's OK. That's two of the three Jamin cars off at the very end. Luke Williams in the tyre barrier. You can see how bad the rain is now. The Jamin racing team started with three. They end with just one. But it's the one that matters because P1 is heading for Jake Cook. It's a win in round two of the Dunlop MSA Formula 4 Championship of Great Britain for the Yorkshiremen. And Antti Bury, who was the winner of round one, is a very distant second. The clock ticking away for the gap, seven, eight, 
nine seconds. It is very nearly 10 seconds between the two. And that is after a safety car period, remember, that bunched them all up. Jake Cook, the winner from Antibury. Fred Martin died third. Fabian Welter takes fourth. Ron Cullen is fifth. He stays ahead of Julio Moreno. And that fourth place for Welter gives him victory in the Duratec class. It was still pretty wet and horrible for round three as well. Antibury once more was the man on pole position. Luke Williams with him at the front of the grid. Jake Cook lined up third. And Eric Lichtenstein, eager to avenge his disappointment of race two, was fourth. But the lights went out, the cars slithered off the line, one and two being a little bit sluggish away from the blocks. But it was Andy Burry who led from Cook and then Lichtenstein into Old Hall. Although Williams went round the outside of the Argentine driver to take third, coming out of the corner. Charles Anti was in the wars at Druids yet again, this time making solid contact with the tyre barrier and ending his weekend early. Alex Drabble, having had dramas in race one, was off the road at Shad Oils, this time head on into the tyres. Antibury was leading the race, and behind the fin was Jake Cook, who ran out of road at Druids, understeered himself wide onto the grass, and lost time against the fin. After Jake Cook's dramas at Druids a lap ago, this time Antibury fell. He ran wide and was very lucky to keep it away from the tyre barrier as he had a big, big lose at Druids. That gave the lead to Luke Williams. So Luke Williams powered his way across the line to be the third different winner in the three rounds of the championship at Alton Park. Each of them won by a first-time winner as well. Behind him, teammate Jake Cook to make it a 1-2 for Jamin. Andy Burry survived for third ahead of Liechtenstein with Kevin Corcoran fifth and Ken Thirlwall winning the Juratech class.